Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain how to solve the problem C, Eugene and an array from the code for this round 632, division 2. In this problem, we are asked to find the number of good non-empty subarrays. Basically, a good non-empty subarray is a subarray such that its sum is different from zero, and the sum of each subarray from that subarray is also different from zero. As you can see, this problem isn't too different from the problem of finding the number of subarrays which have some different from zero. And you will see in my solution that we are going to use the same approach. Now let's move on to the solution. Here I created a sample array which is uh, bigger than the sample arrays from the original problem. And in the second line I have also written the prefix sum array. How is the prefix sum array going to help us in order to find the best uh, solution? Well, uh, as you may know, if we have two positions in which the prefix sum is equal and those positions are different, then the sum between those positions is zero. As you can see here, we have two positions equal to two, which are position four and position eight. And the subarray from the position 5 to the position 8 has sum equal to 0. 2 plus 2 plus 1 minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, our approach will be basically like this. At some step, we are going to check if we have another position equal to 0. If our prefix sum is equal to 0, we will also consider the position 0, which doesn't exist in array but it helps us to choose the range 1i for some i such that its prefix sum is equal to 0. Now, if we have two numbers equal in the prefix sum, like this, we have 6 at position 6 and 6 at position 3. This means that the subarray from 4 to 6 has sum equal to 0. Thus, we are going to mark 4 as the rightmost uh, position in which we can go. Now, when we are going to position 8, we also have the, that subarray, uh, which is from position 5 to 8, and its sum is equal to 0. Again, we are going to mark 5, since it will be our rightmost limit to which we can actually go. And last but not least, at the position 9, we have a number equal to 0. Since we have a to uh, the previous position, we are going to mark 9. Why we, did we mark uh, this number? Basically, at some position i, we are going to add to the sum i and drop from i the biggest position which we mark. Basically, the biggest line cross. If we are at position uh, 6, we are going to drop 5 because we mark. Uh, Excuse me, if we are at position 8, then we are going to drop 5 because we marked that subarray here and we can't take it because it will lead us to a sum equal to 0. In order to implement uh, this algorithm easily, you need to know the map data structure, which is a STL structure and uh, well known in C. Now I'm going to move to the implementation. Basically, we mark here map of position 0 to be equal to minus 1 in order to have it in the map. If we would have marked it with 0, then nothing would have happened. And if we were to find the position 0, then nothing was going to change. Now, in order to avoid uh, the waste of memory with creating the prefix sum array, I kept the sum in some long, long variable. We need long, long variable because the numbers can be big. Basically, if we have found the sum before, we have two cases. Either the sum is equal to zero and we haven't found a sum equal to zero yet. And we need to deal with that special case in which map of position zero is actually zero, not minus one. Otherwise, we are going to deal with this uh, case as usual. Since in map of some position, we are going to mark the rightmost position in which we have that prefix sum. 
last but not least, we are going to add to the answers, as I said, I, and we are going to drop the biggest position such that uh, our prefix sum is going to be zero in some position. If you like what in this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, press the bell button in order to be the first one to get the notifications for the new video, and as always, good luck, stay healthy, and goodbye.